Hey guys, hey, how are you? I'm Jay, and today I have a knife hack video for you. We're going to modify this Kaiser Dukes. Specifically, I'm going to make this pocket clip from deep carry pocket clip I took from a Ganzo knife to fit the Kaiser Dukes. Tools required. I like to use a rotary tool, my Dremel with the ceramic tile cutting bit, and of course vice grips with the rubber jaw covers so when I clamp down onto the clip I won't scratch the finish. Of course a Torx number six. Now if you don't have a rotary tool you may be able to get by if you have a strong enough drill with with a um, well with a small enough drill bit you might be able to do it that way. I've, I have before. Before I owned a Dremel, I would use my high-powered drill. And if you do not have vice grips or the rubber jaw covers, you can just go ahead and use a pair of pliers with some tape wrapped around it because this pocket clip, it is gonna, it's gonna heat up. So I just don't want you guys to uh, burn yourselves. So we got a lot to do, guys, and I really need your help. So let's get set up. All right, well, of course, the first step is gonna be to remove the existing pocket clip. And guys, I promise I will try not to bump the camera, but I do it all the time. So I'm gonna apologize in advance, okay? I know you guys understand. Oh, you know, while I'm thinking about it, I, you know, I want to say hi and welcome to all my new subscribers that have come to me from Patty's Potato Peelers and Mr. Sharp and Blade Banter and Knife Shark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you guys. Okay, can we get this off. There we go. Yeah, see this thing just does not ride deep enough for me. This is a case of fantastic knife, terrible pocket clip. So first thing we have to do is we have to make these two screw holes bigger to accommodate the drilled holes on the Dukes. Once we make the holes a little bit bigger, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the the bottom hole, it's actually kind of like canted just a little bit. So I'm gonna have to make some room in the bottom hole here as well. So, because it's not just gonna be parallel. All right, guys, now this is going to get loud. So you may want to turn the volume down. Here we go. Okay, so as you guys can see, hopefully, got the holes uh, widened. Now, I have to take off a little more material right about here. Wait, other side, sorry. Right about here on the lowest screw hole because of how it's tilted a little bit so and you got to be really careful when doing this you do not make the holes too big so the screw just like falls through it all right guys this is gonna get loud again
All right. See if you guys can see that. One second. So yeah, one of the holes is kind of more of an oval shape. And I know I probably say this all the time, but I just want to remind you guys, make sure when you're doing the work, you're cutting from the back of the clip, because if you make a mistake, big deal. It's not, you know, you're not going to see it anyway. Let's see if it fits. Please fit. Oh, please, please fit. Truth. Oh, please fit. Okay. What do you guys think? I think that came out pretty darn good. Let's see if I can show this to you guys. Old with the new. This, now with this clip on here, I gotta say, this makes this knife just about perfect. And it's not a super long clip, so it only takes up, looks like, about half of the space on the handle. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to hit me up in the comments. Thanks for your help, guys. I think this turned out fantastic. Let me know what you think. So thanks so much for stopping by. And hey, I'll see you guys at the next video. And don't forget, click on that subscribe button, guys, if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. Take care. I'll see you, okay?